Okay, so I've got something really special to show you this week. Oh, I've been waiting for this one for ages. I didn't want to spill the beans it was coming out, but I've mentioned to a few people, well, a couple of people, you know, all that. This is old school black book. Oh, so good, right? So good. So um, it's it's all UK. It's all UK writers in here of the old school. Uh, it dates from sort of... 84 to about 93 probably and um i mean first of all i just gotta say what a cover right what a cover this is by kismo this cover he's been in the game since how long has he been doing it i think i think 86 87 i think you'll certainly see stuff from him in inside this i'm gonna do a flip in a minute obviously obviously oh i'm just holding the suspense but what a beautiful cover right Beautiful elements of, of old school um, hip hop graffiti, graffiti tropes. You know, beautiful can and a subway train. This B boy here with a big ghetto blaster and his gaze with a shaved eyebrow. I mean, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And the kind of the four star, you know, big crumbly blockbuster letters there, some gorgeous sort of 3Ds there. Beautiful old New Yorky kind of style, and this one here was all. Oh, it's just, I mean, it's just gorgeous, isn't it? Just absolutely gorgeous. I'm loving this. I can't, oh, I can't, I can't get enough of it. Anyway, I'm just sort of, I'm sort of, you know, savouring it before I open it up. Let's open it up. <laughs> let's get stuck in. So first of all, hang on, let's get. There we go. That's it. All right. So first of all, what we got? Uh. So you see all this background, um, that's a customs examination form. We used to get these when we used to, because so in the old days, for those of you who don't really know, we used to swap, the way writers used to swap things is we used to swap things through the mail. And um, here in England, we used to swap Europe quite a lot, the States, Australia. And uh, we used to get our stuff open by customs quite a lot because there's a lot of stuff going backwards and forwards. Uh, it wasn't for graph really, it was mostly for drugs. You can see this is coming from the Netherlands and uh, they were looking for drugs. They never found any because we weren't shipping around. We we're just shipping things like this. Photos and, uh, and stuff. Uh, beautiful old school piece there by uh, True. True was my first mentor back in the day in 87. Uh, this is Craze. One of the UK kings from back then. Uh, he was laying down some amazing. That's not an 80s piece, actually. That's early 90s, that piece. Joyce, uh, Sweden, I believe. Um, probably the only probably the only foreign writer to to feature in here, actually. Interestingly. So, if we got a quick rundown. Pops 100, Don. Uh, says, Dice, Don, me, Ruff, Satine. Kismo J2, Craze, Essex Rockers, uh, Domain Prayer 2, Noir, all Essex Rockers, then uh, Mink, Cam Merc, Divine, Icon, Turo, Dice, SOK, that's by SOK, that piece there, this, this character, beautiful character, um, Shy 131, Sprog, Terrace, Part 86, Score, Reese, Trans One, Bap, The Artful Dodger, Zaki D163, The Chrome Angels, uh, Dark, UKMA, uh, Delight, same I believe, uh, Reds 27, and, uh, and Dilly Gaff. And we've got, there's a lovely little picture of um, a Pops 100 wall there, very famous one, the pop star it, from um, uh, Clifton, South Nottingham. And a little in the background, you just see a carrot tame train there in the old uh, ghost yard there as well. So a few trappings of, uh, of old school paraphernalia that you'll recognise uh, if you were around back in the day. Mixtape there, big fat white Pentel marker. Chubby Posca. Very good for those windows on the backs of buses. Not that I ever did it, of course. Uh, and uh, and a copy of uh, Hip Hop Connection, I believe. Or so let's get stuck into the meat, shall we? Let's have a look. Oh, look at this beautiful stuff. So, all the the beauty of this is um, the dates are after the credits as well, so you can see when it was done. 
So, uh, beautiful piece by Dice there from 1989. With the classic sort of character instead of the, instead of the vowel. Often you swap a vowel out and, and put a character in. We still do it to this day. Uh, Mars and Kizmo from 87, even older one. Beautiful colour piece and lovely nude there. It's very sort of, um, oh look, he's got a little, there's a little Bode lizard there, so I'm assuming that's sort of Bode broad there and all. And this piece down the bottom, look at that. That is really classic UK old school side on profile picture with a gun on the, on the explosion. I mean, fabulous. 88, not, uh, Essex Rockers, proud to. This guy is really the godfather of UK graph. Artful Dodger. We all revered the Artful Dodger. It says 85, this is actually done in 84, this one. And he was, this is how he used to do his tag. He used to do his tag in Old English, like that. And uh, and you'd see it up every so often. It was absolutely beautiful. And he was so ahead of the game. Again, for UK heads, uh, he was um, he was the one that done um, the Wheat of adverts and uh, which are, are still revered in this country to this day. Uh, if I can find a picture of his Wheat of advert, I might just slap it up here so you can have a quick look because it's uh, it's still iconic today, and um, it inspired a whole generation of of writers to. To pick up pens and pick up paint and, and get stuck into this art form and get interested in hip hop and all that. So, um, so the Dodger, he was the man, and there's more stuff for him from him to come. So, let's push on. Oh, now these, so these, um, so Street Sounds were, um, amazing label that launched basically th these guys brought us our first taste to hip hop or Electro, as it was. They launched the Electro series that went right up to, oh God, you know, I don't know where it went up to. Did it go up to 30 in the end, or 20 something? Can't remember. But this is number 20 and this is number 22. Because when they got to about 19, they started to do these covers. Up until that point, they'd done very graphic, sort of Electro 1, 2, 3, 4, and it was all very graphic-y and numbers and stuff. And then suddenly, these characters appeared. And these are by Terrace. Terrace, 1988. And uh, this guy was, again, you know, a long way ahead of the game. He's producing amazing graphic work. And these these characters, this one particularly is the one that stuck out in my mind for years to come. And I always wanted to be able to do a character as good as this. And the colourway on them letters and everything. I mean, it's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. I've got somewhere, I've got some pictures of uh, of the airbrushed spreads he done for this uh for the, it's the i mean it's just for the time particularly yeah it, it was it was the best time for the innovation of graph and stuff and then that character to me is one of the best characters ever done you know stands right beside uh mode two's characters um in the sort of iconic seminal uh characters of graph graph history beautiful album covers I have this one um, pinned to my board in front of me every day on my working on my working area in my studio because inspiration, right? Amazing work. Ooh, beautiful styles, such cool styles. With you see these balance bars, used to get a lot of these in the late eighties. Uh, this one says styles. This one's by Turo. Turo's from Bristol. He's a Bristol writer, very big on the scene, still writing today. Um, lovely piece by Sprog there. Really beautiful old gnarly. Look at the 3D on that and everything. Fantastic gnarly old style. 88, that one. Um, Sprog, a London writer. Um, I've got Dice here. Beautiful Dice piece. Gorgeous Kismo piece. Kismo, again, this sort of, you see this, this sort of theme, the, the, the bar that runs through it and I, you know, every so often a writer will use them today. I saw Bonsai use them on a piece on a van once in recent years. It was fantastic. Uh, I've used them on pieces before. It looks so cool. Dark UKMA. Uh, that's before Essex Rockers became Essex Rockers. They were UKMA. Uh, this is 87. 
and this is uh, Criminal Mind, or Criminal Mind, I think, Criminal Mind, Criminal Mind, I'm pretty sure that says Criminal Mind, rather than Criminal Minded, love it as a style though, so spacey isn't it, space agey, beautiful, one from Dice, different Dice this one, this is Dice TSM, this dice is, if I'm remembering correctly, I think it's RAS, Ruthless Art Syndicate. I might be wrong on that, if anybody knows, put me right. Another 88 there. It's a lovely start. I just love this start because it takes me back to when I got, this is when I was starting basically, 87 and 88. So these guys I was really looking up to. Back there, another one from Churro there. Bristol, that's where he's from. Did I mention that? The Churro, I don't think I did. Bristol, for for them that don't know, that's uh, in the south west of England, down towards Devon, down that way. It's a super hip city, Bristol. I was working there last year. It was a fantastic place. Such a cool place. Always had a great graph scene as well. Amazing. This is Essex Rockers from 1990. They always did these amazing mad characters. This is Domain and Proud 2, we've done these. And this sort of gnarly experimental style, you know, you've got a sort of metallic-y look on the DJ there. Beautiful piece. Great stuff. Nice. Artful Dodger, again, 86. Um, I mean, these letters. These letters, we were seeing these letters and, you know, this is, how long ago is that? That's nearly 40 years ago. God, there's a thought. That's nearly 40 odd years ago. And uh, and these letters, anybody who's seen the Winterdix piece would recognise these letters. Beautiful genesis of, of letters. And he's already sort of, you know, computer rocking it. He's breaking them up. He's segmenting them. He's doing stuff with them. Very exciting. Fantastic piece from Sproggy for 88 as well. Um, look at that. That 3D. Again, if, you, if you're sort of... I think they used it in Europe as well, this form of, of 3D, where you, use, you get the um, the sort of rounded 3D fill. It was so popular back then. It looked amazing. I see, there's a there's a track side, actually. When I go up to, uh, when I jump on the train, go up the West End from, from South London, there's a, there's a track side piece that has that fill in the 3D, and it's always very exciting to see. Because it's, it's done by an old school writer. Brilliant bit of a ledge this one so um this one is by zaki d163 who was a member of the famous tca the chrome angels and uh this one's 87 and as you can see it's right next to its piece so this piece oh do you know what i'm trying to remember where this piece was i think it might have been hammersmith might have been hammersmith outside hammersmith tube I think, can't remember. But as you can see, look at how accurate it is. Bear in mind, it's done illegally. <laughs> look how accurate it is to the sketch. You know, it's amazing. What are we painting in the dark? You know, look at his line work. His line work's fantastic on this. It's brilliant. Another fabulous one here. Rebels Posse by Merck. Merck ACR, Merck's from South, South East. He's from uh, um, um, round, round there, isn't it? Um, 1987. Again, you know, what a brilliant. Look at the use of colour in the background there. That is so exciting. We used to love these types of pieces. So good. So good. Uh, Reese TDK. Again, you know, look at the hand styles on it. The hand stuff. This is when in the days when it wasn't enough just to put your name up. You had to you had to get some style going. You know, it was all about style. It was always about trying to get your get your letters looking good. And uh, there's some great tagging on that. <laughs> I'm not going to read that out, but that's very funny. Brilliant, fantastic. Okay, lovely Bode piece by Ruff there from '89. With your lizard hanging from his little rope swing and a lovely surround and all that some great straight letters by ruff more of him to come and all he did some fantastic stuff around this time really really good uh a nice piece again from dice you can really see that on a panel or something can't you it's a beautiful panel kind of, kind of piece that one 89 that one 
Mother of Kismar, 87. 87 he was doing this. Look at this, look at the colouring on the uh, on the panelled um, thing, jacket. I can't remember what it's called. Words escape me. What's going on? Uh, flowers, Bode tributes, you know, a bit of a tip to Bode there. Little, I mean, good hands. Hands in those days, oh my God. I found them impossible. Run the MC t-shirt. Love it, love it. Old flyer, this. Look at this. This is an old flyer from the um, from VOP by Rough uh, Visual Orgasm Productions from when they used to do commercial work. A little Bodo character there, covered in paint. Another Kismo character. Look at Kismo's hand style. That is amazing. What's that say? A tribute to the one known as Mars. Nice. 88 that one great just great so this is don he's from west southwest london i believe 87 what an amazing bit of, i mean look at this look at the color and everything that is a really beautiful piece really really beautiful technically very accomplished as well for 87 i mean you know if you'd have seen my stuff in 87, honestly, on, on wall or book, you know, we are not talking anything near as good as this. I mean, not even close. <laughs> um, none of my stuff, thankfully, has survived from then. I do have a piece from 88 that survived, but I didn't put it forward for this because, honestly, it weren't really good enough. I might show you one day, but, yeah, it's the only piece of, from the 80s that survived of mine. Honestly, it's nothing to get excited about. That's a really interesting piece because people were generally not doing this sort of thing in 89. And uh, and Ruff's having a go. And look, lots of different colour in there. And I'm trying to work out if it's letters or if it's just an abstract. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But there it is. Beautiful piece. Gorgeous. Gorgeous old school 80s letters from Kismo there. Very interesting outline as well. He's done bits of black low lights and a red. The colouring on that, that's really, you know, so sophisticated. For the time. For the time, really sophisticated. Can you see that? Yeah. Oh, some black and whites. So, Satine, BVATTR, uh, 87, this one. I mean, this again, this is like... These are the letters that I remember from back then and that hand style is a killer hand style i just remember tags going up with this kind of hand style and just going oh how brilliant how amazing i'll tell you what my hands were not as good as that back then beautiful letters just beautiful my style is very similar to this now having sort of I'm, i've come full circle i'm back doing a very similar style to this now well acr again 87 with that fantastic style he's got. So in every style you see from Merck, you kind of think, yeah, just go on a train. That one. You can just imagine it, you know, panels down the side of a train. The light UKMA again. With the old uh, the character peeping out the uh, the big crack wall there. And the big early 80s letters. The can, the can. Different cans, you know. Different writers had different ways of doing cans and stuff. Brilliant. Now we've got a letter study here. And these are really important documents in many ways. Because this is this is a team from 87. This fella. Same fella. And you'll see in our letters were put together. The sort of letters that were being done. And I look at these letters now. They still look absolutely beautiful to me. Absolutely beautiful. Gorgeously sketched out. Different studies of different letters. And this is... Um, this is a full alphabet, isn't it? Is it a full alphabet? Pretty much, isn't it? Yeah. That's fantastic. God, I absolutely love that. Brilliant. Another Merc P. Oh, look at this. So this that's an old um, Clapham North balance suit in bed. That's an old Northern line. Um, this is the you get these on the trains basically. They don't look like that anymore. 
that's an old one, that's an old one from like the late 70s, early 80s. Uh, shows you all the, all the stops in the Northern Line. That's what you, when you're sitting in your chair, you know, you're looking up, up at that going, where's my stop? How many stops did Collier's Wood? Oh yeah, there you go. Um, Mark, beautiful. Sprog, another Sprog one. Such style. I mean, these letters were just, you know, I was in love with these letters back then. Uh, Poet. Poet 86 from Nottingham. Nottingham East Side. He had some wicked style, this guy. He was a really, uh, can you see that? Yeah, really terrific artist. I still know him to this day, Poet. He's, um, goes by the name Ego Warrior now. Uh, very talented artist. Good bloke. We've got Noir eighty no Noir was not writing that, but he was uh, but he was doing this. Again, look at the hand styles. Look at this. So this is all sort of this is either UKMA or Essex Rockers stuff, this stuff here. Uh beautiful bit of style. Look at them flat tops on there. Great. Bits of serif or curling on the bottom. Oh, love it. Absolutely love it. Artful Dodger sketches, look at this, like cyborg cans. Bit of, um, what do you call it? Tech, you know, um, what's it called? Ah, oh, cyberpunky, bit of 40k, you know, something like that. Lovely thing, we used to always do this thing, yeah, 3D on show, used to do the details like they did, um, like the New Yorkers used to do. We, we sort of picked up on that tradition, you know, writing down our colours on the same bit of, as we've done the sketch, because the sketch will be taken to the wall. Although later on, of course, we didn't take sketches to the wall, because uh, that's evidence, isn't it? Anyway, um, oh, it's one from me. Look, it's one from me, 91. It says, Law. This is when I was trying to uh, find a bit of a... I was trying to find a wild style. Style. <laughs> um... Honestly, I was always better at characters, let's be honest. Um, although my character's not brilliant there, but you know, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm trying stuff. Another beautiful letter piece from Sprog there, from 87. Some gorgeous letters, really gorgeous letters. I love these. Another one from uh, Ma, 87. Oh, these are all 87, these ones. That's a great piece as well, by Kismar. Interesting one by Noir. Interesting sort of uh, concept piece. Damn, there's some good stuff here. There's one from Rough from 88. Interesting fill. These fills became a real thing. Big thing. And uh, you started to see this a lot in the UK. This fill was getting ripped off everywhere. And it was it was a beautiful thing, you know. Because there were fades in it, different colours and bubbles and all that. And... It was um it was our take on the uh, on the U U uh, US one really, another one from Dice there. Bit of computer rock on his uh, on his film there. Good stuff, love it. Gorgeous piece on cans from Don again. Very you know so technically accomplished. He's got his he's got his pencil work in the background there. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's absolutely beautiful. Don of course still going strong. He's a good pal of mine. Very, uh, very active on the scene. Keeps very busy. That's a beautiful piece from Rough, 87. Look at the colours. Look at the colours on that. It's a full red 3D on that one. It's got that circular thing I was, I was telling you about. I was talking about. Love that. Absolutely love it. Interesting couple of pieces from Don. Does it say Jick? Jick from Don, and then you got the uh, the photos of the pieces. Fantastic score. Troubled Children crew, nineteen eighty nine. This guy was a governor. Uh, about a year later than this, he just sort of he 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 rocketed to the top of the scene really, and his styles were just something that we were all looking at. And I mean this, the, look at this here yeah, that um. I mean, it's all the same. It's, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. We were looking at these styles going, how's he getting the gnarly letters? Oh, God, so good. So good. More dice from the early 80s. That, there you go, RAS. That's Ruthless Art Syndicate. I'm pretty sure it's Ruthless Art Syndicate. I'm pretty sure I'm getting that right. This is a great piece. Look at this. 
Another one by Poet. Beautiful wild style by Poet there. And that, I believe, is a character by Little J as well. I haven't seen him in about 35 years. I don't know what he's doing now. A couple of nice old school. So this is new old school, obviously. This is Kizmo, the sort of stuff he does nowadays. Blend with old style stuff. So you've got a picture of, uh, that's a picture of Marker. That's Marker from Hemp Syndicate, when he gets shaved on the back of his head. Uh, picture of Icon there. From back in the day. Beautiful, beautiful work piece by Kizmo. He does this stuff so well. I mean, you know, like, like a lot of us, he never really moved on from the old school. I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean that in a very good way, because look at it. It's just a thing of beauty, isn't it? It's a thing of beauty. Gorgeous, gorgeous little pe pencil piece, pencil sketch by Bap. Bapster. Lovely. Another one by me. Uh, can you, you notice the thing? <laughs> so this, mm, ee, not so good. This, yes. I was always going to do characters, wasn't I? I was always going to do characters. Another lovely piece by Dice there. Dice sketch from 88. And this, this is the legendary Pox 100 from the early 90s. Pencil sketch by him saying sight. And he always used to do this. He used to do big, big messages. Sometimes Bible, sometimes Rastafari references. A lot of Bible verses though. Because he was, um, around this time, he was becoming Rastafari. And uh, a lot of it's about sort of well I guess I guess we'd say generally it's a sort of message of love mostly love inclusivity brotherhood all that kind of stuff you know all that good stuff and uh still no pops today and he's even even more like this now top top man more from Churro late 80s I reckon about 87 that by the looks of things that's an 87 piece I'm almost sure of it Another one by Merck. Look at that R. Badass. Badass R. Big, strokey um, hairstyle and all. Fantastic. B-Boy. 88. B-Boy from, uh, from Kismo. Look at that body warmer. Body warmer. That's the word I was looking for. That is, look at the way he's coloured that. That is so good. I mean, 88 we're talking about here. This guy's a gifted artist. Really, really gifted artist. I mean, he's a mate of mine, you know, what I'm saying. So I'm, it's not unbiased or anything. Look at it, it's brilliant. Uh, another churro, that's a bit later. Yeah, that's 89, that one. A little bit later, that one. Another dice piece there from 91. Oh, Jade 2, yes. We used to do this a lot as well, where you draw... Like a tube train or a, or a BR or something. Cool. Cool. Look at these Artful Dodger throw-ups. From 85. 85! I mean, 85? What? It's nearly 40 years ago. I'm getting it right, aren't I? 85, 95, 2005, 50. It is. It's nearly 40 years ago. It's 38 years ago. That's a long time. This piece is amazing. This is rough again. What's that, Cass? I don't know. Or maybe that's somebody. Dedication to someone. Uh, and there's the piece. That looks like it might be Old Kent Road or somewhere like that. That's South London for them. Don't know. Um, and it says, I'm bad. <laughs> Great style though. Wicked style. You can see he's really starting to get good at that stage. Really starting to get good. Lovely Reds 27 piece. I believe I have to add in the rest in peace because I don't think Reds is with us anymore. Look at that film there. That's a great film. I think he's done it in like a yellow Posca or something, maybe. Great kind of scratchy dark blue and then that. And yeah, great. Love it. Another Sprog piece here. That's a great character. Brilliant. That looks like it was done with um, 
I've got one of those like Faber Castell metallic pens that we used to uh, acquire um, back in the late 80s. And they were great because they were, it was like using big fat markers, except on a really small scale in your black book. Old dice piece there, lovely little dice piece on the old uh, lined paper as well. Oh, love it. I'll tell you, this is taking me back. Oh, great piece by score, CRC. So this is for the, um, I'm pretty sure this is for Unity Jam in 93. Uh, which was in Fulham, I think, which is um, over in West London. The school was absolutely on fire. Look at that style there. You could cut yourself on that, couldn't you? Absolutely brilliant. His characters, and he's just, just fantastic. Fantastic work. Another one for Sprog from 87. King, and that, oh, that hand style is absolutely dynamite. Love it. Proud two Essex Rockers from 89. Again, beautiful style, sort of jagged dynamism on that. And the flaring on the, you know, pencil, I'm assuming, bits of colour. Loads of experimentation going on. I love it. Love this time for this. And I talk about it a lot, but you've seen it in action. Um, this one, Artful Dodger, 1985. So Chico, Chico. Again, the letters. The letters. This is 1985. A long time ago. Satine, from two years after this, he's producing this. Great, really cool. Oh, the hand styles. I'll be honest, I really miss this time. I really miss it. <sighs> I mean, you know, we live a lot better nowadays, let's be honest, but I do miss this. This is amazing. Cheech Wizard character there. Beautiful letters with sort of goldy effect on them. Big fat bladed markers, themes of art. It's got everything that. Great old Don piece. I know he's done that. Pencils, I think. Vop Stars. Uh, yeah, rough 89. So this is a gorgeous character. This is Visual Orgasm Productions again, Pop Stars. Beautiful hand styles. Fantastic work. Churro again. Churro, 91. It's a bit later for Churro, this one. And uh, yeah, you can see the cut. Look at that one. Is that... Yeah, that's letters, isn't it? Yeah, nice. Wicked. Love all that. Again, this is. It's so, you know. Writers from my area, we just look at that and we sort of know straight away when it's from. Like that, that is, is unmistakably late 80s, that'd be either 87 or 88. It's, you could just tell straight away. I know you say, yeah, but the uh, <laughs> it's telling you just there. I could do it without that, honestly, because of the style. Anybody who, who's, who's come up through the UK and knows these styles, you would know. You would just know straight away. You know. And you'd know that that was later, for instance. You just know. You can tell. Oh, this is great. This is Says. Again, late 80s. I reckon that's about... Oh, do you know what? I was about to get that right. Because I think that says 89, doesn't it? I'd have placed that 87, 88. So, I would have been wrong, right? But late 80s, right? Yeah. So, I'm sort of right. He said, wriggling out of it. There's a late... Uh, is one there as well by Says. That's great as well. So cool. And if you look at the hand styles, it looks like it's done sort of pretty much the same time. This is an early one, like 86 by Divine. Again, 86, you know, we are going back. This is like, this is the Wild West for this time because people, there, there was no established styles. You know, we take so much for granted now. There's an established graffiti style. You can bite a lot of shit now if that's what you're going to do. And let's face it, a lot of people do. You know, you're looking around just magpieing stuff from everywhere. There wasn't anything to magpie from stuff from back then, you know. We were making it up as we went along, mostly. We were, you know, obviously looking to New York and everything, and Europe, but but there wasn't much to go on. 
because you only had you know a handful of magazines, a couple of books. What am I talking about? There were, we didn't even have magazines. We had a couple of books: Subway, Subway Art, Spray Can Art. That was it, really. And whatever photos you could uh, you could trade with people. This one from me. Ninety three. Ninety three. That one. Hmm. Yeah, it must have been. Uh, lovely dice piece from 89. That's an interesting bit of style. He's trying something different with that one. More sateen. More, yes, yeah, see, more experimental letter stuff. Again, from 87. That's good stuff. Mink stuff. Mink from Liverpool. Does those classic, uh, B-Boy characters. That's a nice one. This is Kem. He's from... Where's he from? West Mids, I think. Very good artist. Really gifted artist. Look at the stuff he's doing back then. This is 87. He's doing this. And if you see his stuff on the wall now, you'll go... Well, I, actually, I've not seen him do characters, but he does amazing letter work. Him and Posia do a lot of stuff together, and they are brilliant. If you're not following them on Insta, you better be following them. All these guys were on Insta, by the way. Every you know, everybody in here, I think, is still pretty much active. Uh, this is J two, classic Bode lizards, and this beautiful kind of Daisy Age kind of uh, is that abstract? Or is it letters? I can't tell because we were abstracting back then. Mm. Crane by Sha One Three One, lovely little poet character. With the rocks and everything. Wish I wish more stuff had it that survived the poets. A lot of it, unfortunately, didn't survive. Because he did some amazing stuff. Did some great stuff. Raised TDK. Look at the broken up letters. Beautiful. Fantastic. Oh, great gnarly pencil sketches on rough old paper. It's just the best, isn't it? Letters on a can there in a very sketchy form gorgeous says again late 80s piece another one for me there the oxygen piece i remember this one it's very popular this one that's probably that was i reckon that's probably the best one i've, I've done it around this time easy uh kismo piece again fantastic another one by shy 131 love it That's a pretty cool character, although I think it owes quite a lot to, um, oh, who's the guy that did the, uh, the hype magazine character? Can't remember. Owes a lot to him, I reckon, that one. <laughs> but, you know, finding me feet. Great character by Ruff there. I mean, look at that line work on them trousers. That's amazing, isn't it? A lot of detail and stuff, and then lovely little piece there. Big round things in the 3D, I was saying again. Dice piece from 87. Remember these? The big, there's one in them in, um, in Spray Can Art, a big piece with a, like a sort of vanishing point 3D on it, like that. Another one by me. Crest. He's a pal of mine from, a, from way back then. We got bust for these names. We got arrested for them. That was the end of them. Another Kismo piece. It says Joseph. Yeah, nice. That's a great piece there. Great piece by Ruff. So much style. So much style. Great feel. It's perfect, isn't it? Perfect on Sprog piece again. Oh, look. Look, 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 look. That's okay. Lizard. Piece by Don One there. Don't know where he's from actually, Don. Lovely piece by Sprague. Love it. Oh look, he's got the uh he's got a slightly sort of metallic thing in that 3D, everything's having that 3D. Love them 3Ds like that. More dice stuff from 88. Oh, this piece, this one, it's one of my favourite black book pieces of all time. This is crazy. I mean, look at that style there. 
88 he was doing that style his pen work is perfect as well line work is just beautiful these flutterby characters I just love this to be invisible would be my claim to fame a man with no name that way I won't have to feel the pain craze T2L Crow. Now, I, if memory serves me, that's true to life. True to life, Crow. But if anybody knows different, do pipe up and uh, tell me I got it wrong. Outline from me, 92. Uh, beautiful outline from Dice there, from the same time. One from Trans One. Great, trans, fantastic, and that's four years earlier. Oh, that's a fantastic piece. Two characters, it was at hip hop. Does that say don't stop? I think it does. I think so. Anyway, yeah, it's great. Artful Dodger. Artful Dodger, 85, yeah, 85 and 76, 86, yeah, great. I mean, this is just classic Dodger stuff from back then, stuff he was doing in the book. You know, nobody will ever have seen this before, probably. Amazing. Another piece from Dom there from 89. Little character, cheeky character. His little uh, spray can, another trans one piece. Look at this. Look at the fill on that. Mad Phil. Uh, he does letters and characters trans to this day. Uh, again, if, if you're not following him, get on it on Insta. He does a lot of work. Gets very, very busy. Um, photo, photo realism. Well, photo realism, yeah, you, you'll see. Does amazing stuff. Another one from me there. It's quite a nice character. I was very pleased with them glasses, as, as I recall. When was that? 93, that one. And I really like that style as well. It's a shame I got busted for that name. That was the end of that. Kismo. Letters and characters. Classic. Absolutely classic. So sums up the time there. Nice, okay. Cheeky little piece there. Dice on a straight letters. And another um, says piece there. With a blue fill. It's nice, that. Oh, this is um, this is dice TSM, the other dice, not this dice, this dice, and that it looks like an old flyer from, yeah, writers meet, blah blah blah, yeah, yeah that's what it is. It's a hookup. Used to get a lot of this sort of stuff. People would do like a full, full page handouts and stuff, and you get characters and letters on them and stuff, and they became very collectible. And uh, there's probably a lot of them been lost over the years. Nice to see that. Yeah, here we go. Look. Sunday 19th. No. 26th. <laughs> 1pm. Bring photos. Designs. That's what we used to do. We used to bring your photocopies. And bring your your photos. And swap them. And, oh. Such a happy time. Lovely piece by Mark. Riesla. Presumably for Ries. Dedication to Ries. I'd imagine. This is a gorgeous piece. I think he painted this as well. If memory serves me right, I've uh, painted these clocks, and I mean, it's just gorgeous concept work. Bit of a tip of the nod to Bodo, all that, yeah, great. Very old trans one piece from '86. Gnarly, look at that black tip letters and everything. You know, just love it. Experimentation. Satin, day unknown. I reckon that. See, this is what I'm talking about. That. Looks like about 1991 to me. That isn't. I, I would be amazed if that's late 80s. That's that's later than later than 80s. It's uh, early 90s. Have a saves piece there. Unmistakably, 80s piece. The three characters and oh boy. Proud to Essex Rockers. This is so 87, 88. These styles, there's no one there, look. 
unmistakable. You see these painted and they'd be absolutely beautiful. And the line work would be tight, really tight, thin lines on them. And yeah, great, great Kismo piece there as well. Another great dice piece. It's just gorgeous, this, isn't it? Love a Kismo. Kismo there. The outline and the painted piece. Colour piece by Sangs. Lovely. I think this is it, yeah. Dice sketch. Gigolo and Kinky back in 1990. Outside the co op. <laughs> and he's uh, waving a torch mark around. Um, Frank Trains One Piece. And this is Covent Garden, as was. By the looks of things, probably, I don't know, 86, maybe, 87, before the renovation, before it was all done up. Yeah, hard to imagine now that it ever looked like that. It's, uh, it's very smart and slick and touristy now. But back in those days, it was all uh, run down and knackered. Happy days, man. And then the back cover, there you go. Lovely piece by SOK there. Lovely by Noir. Paraphernalia, you know, bits and pieces. And 2000 AD from 83. Very, 2000 AD, massively influential on UK writers. Taking characters like Halo Jones and Judge Dredd and all them kind of things. Very, very inspirational. Sci-fi stuff and all, you know, come out of 2000 AD at that time. It was it was a really really important thing for a lot of people, a lot of writers, a lot of writers. Uh, some writers like Jason Brashill, and there was another one can't remember his name. Uh, went on to actually be comic artists for two thousand AD, and very very good ones. And uh, yeah, anyway, there you go. That's the old school black book, and uh, I suggest if you like this kind of thing, you get over and. Uh, and get yourself one. Link's in the description. But uh, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. I certainly did.